The Confiteor is one of the prayers that can be said during the penitential act. Question. Say the Confiteor and verses after it. Answer. I confess to Almighty God, to Blessed Mary, ever virgin, to Blessed Michael, the Archangel, to Blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and to all the saints, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I beseech Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin, Blessed Michael, the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints to pray to the Lord our God for me. May the Almighty God have mercy on me and forgive me my sins and bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant me pardon, absolution, and remission of all my sins. Amen. Question. What does confiteor mean? Confiteor is the first word of this prayer in Latin and means I confess. Question. How is the confiteor divided? Answer. The confiteor is divided into two parts. In the first part, we acknowledge our sins in the presence of God and of his saints and angels. In the second part, we beg the angels, the saints and angels to aid us in obtaining forgiveness. Question. What should we bear in mind in saying any prayer, and especially the confiteor? Confiteor. Answer. While saying any prayer, and especially the confiteor, we should bear in mind that we are in the presence of God and of his saints and angels who see us and hear us, though we cannot see or hear them. The act of faith. Question. Say the act of faith. Answer. O my God, I firmly believe that thou art one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I believe that thy divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. Question. Give the substance of an act of faith. Answer. The substance of an act of faith is, I believe all that God has revealed and the Catholic Church teaches. Question. Why do we find acts of faith of different lengths? Answer, we find acts of faith of different lengths because some state more fully than others what God has revealed and the church teaches. An act of hope. Question, say the act of hope. Answer, O oh my God, relying on thy infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Question. Give the substance of an act of hope. Answer. The substance of an act of hope is, I pray for heaven and the means to obtain it. An act of love. Question. Say the act of love. O oh my God, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of thee. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Question. Give the substance of an act of love. Answer. The substance of an act of love is... I love God above all things for his own sake and my neighbor as myself for the love of God.
Question. How do we show that we love God above all things? Answer. We show that we love God above all things by keeping his commandments and by never offending him for any person or thing. Question. What does loving your neighbor as yourself mean? Answer. Loving my neighbor as myself does not mean that I must love him as much as myself, but that I must love him with the same kind of love. That is, I must never do to my neighbor what I would not wish my neighbor to do to me, but on the contrary, do unto others as I would have others do unto me. Question. Do an act of love and an act of charity mean the same thing? Answer, an act of love and act of charity do mean the same thing, because charity means love, for it means an act of kindness that comes from love. Question, how may all persons show charity to their neighbor? Answer, all persons may show charity to their neighbor by never injuring his character and by always speaking well of him. Question. Are we bound to make acts of faith, hope, and love? Answer. We are bound from time to time during our lives to make acts of faith, hope, and love. Otherwise, we risk our salvation. An act of contrition. Question. What does contrition mean? Contrition means a state of grief or deep sorrow for our sins. Question. Say the act of contrition. Answer. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good, and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Question. Give the substance of an act of contrition. Answer. The substance of an act of contrition is, I am sorry for my sins, because they have offended God, and I will never sin again. Question. Why do we find acts of hope, love, and contrition of different lengths? Answer. We find acts of hope, love, and contrition of different lengths because some explain more fully than others what we hope for, why we love God, and why we are sorry for our sins. The Blessing Before Meals Question. Say the blessing before meals. Answer. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Grace After Meals Question. Say the grace after meals. Answer. We give thee thanks for all thy benefits, O Almighty God, who livest and reignest forever. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Question. What does grace at meals mean? Answer. Grace at meals means the thanks we offer God for the food we are about to receive or have just taken. Question. Why should we say grace at meals? Answer. We should say grace at meals to show our gratitude to God who has given us all we possess and daily supplies our wants. Question. Is it wrong to despise or waste our food? Answer. It is wrong to despise or waste our food because we thereby slight the goodness of God who owes us nothing. Question. Is it a sin to neglect grace at meals? Answer. It is not a sin to neglect grace at meals but only a mark of our ingratitude. For if we are to thank God for all his gifts, we should do so especially at the time they are given.